Hello everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Mortal Glory. Last time we won. Again. Even... Uh, not against all odds. But it was looking bad. Like, the first two runs we did... We were doing really well until the final we died. Last two runs... Both wins. Both didn't do well. And then at the end we still won. Um, followers of Annihilation. We'll probably look into kind of this stuff later. Maybe we'll start going down these challenges and see if we can complete them. But I still think we need, there's still stuff we need to learn. Uh, the main lesson we learned last time is don't be scared to spend money uh, or, or, or think about your money when at, the, at this point. Because you get extra money here, you get extra money here. So it's always worth kind of thinking about that kind of stuff. How scary are you? Uh, static, non. Three moves, decent. Uh, you're one shotable, I think, if we get someone who can do that. Um, we'll look at our shop here. Armor. MP, not by chance, quick chance. Interesting uh, selection there. And pressure blast. Ooh, zap is on. Zap is available. This could change how we go, because <coughs> I think Zap is very strong. At least early, or at least if you manage to get a lot of magic damage from uh, from items. But we also have uh, have some armor. That's something that didn't come up last time. There wasn't much armor after like the first few rounds, so it may be worth like actually picking some of this stuff up. Seems like a pretty decent weapon. The corrosive mist is a bit weird. Maybe we're looking for a spell sword, especially if you're going for like zap. But, but I mean, not having physical damage on a on a mage is good because at least you got you got the back of always being able to stab them, which I think is something we need to we need to bear in mind. One agility, uh, four agility on this ring. I mean, <coughs> already we've got a fairly decent set of items here. How's this doing? Strength of vitality. Um. So I mean, yeah, but together those combined is a uh, is a is an extra move, plus an eight crit chance, eighteen crit chance. Uh, these three items together will set us up quite well for for a good start. Uh, just how much how much are these uh, all together? Um, <clears throat> so that's uh, one, seven, eight, fifteen, sixteen. 76, 126, 196, okay, so we would have to buy someone cheap from the guild, from the, from the recruits. And I'm not being funny, this is a good, possibly good start. Y yes, we would only have, we we've obviously, you know, Minus five crit is not what you not what you like to see, but we are gonna you know give him some crit. Um, but it's the bull rush that I like because that basically means that you'll one shot people because you'll, be, you'll be doing so much damage. And he's got decent health. He's got okay armor. See, this th this is a problem because of the one vitality. The agility and the strength is nice. The vitality is a bit scary, um, and it's still you start you have to get into combat. 20 wisdom is a good is a good start and, and we have we know we have zap on the board uh, freezing winds is also very nice uh, a supply slow to all enemies that I think is actually a really good thing energize is nice it kind of makes up for the lack of agility both of, neither of these consume uh, <clears throat> consume a turn and we could give him zap on top of that Obviously, I do like seeing Undines, because uh, I just like the, the, this at the start, it's just kind of nice. I mean, even here is not too bad. I think you're a little pricey, though. Uh, you... <clears throat> uh, yeah, no thank you. So basically, our choices are going to be Grubber or Harry, or Grabber or Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. Um, they both have dominant. 
I don't think anyone here has uh, money. No. Are oh, you just teasing me with this? This is a very nice person. We started off wizard last time, and one of the problems we had was, um, as we kind of started running out of mana, we, we started hitting issues with damage. But obviously, this this damage is is already insane. I think there'll be other wizards, and I think other wizards in our future may be okay. Um, I think we're going to start with Grabber, and I think we're going to do what we wanted to do. We're going to buy these three items. So I think we have enough. Uh, Corrosive Mist is not exactly useful uh, because you don't have the mana to cast it. Um, it's all, all the other nice things that we'd like to see. The other option would be to go like something fairly like, nice and cheap. Potentially, in fact, Maybe we, we could, in fact, just go both of these. Because um, the, these two are what's giving you the agility. Um, I mean, even that, that's like 100... 119? Money? So if we recruited him, we would be able to afford it. We'd be able to afford one. Uh, and I guess having four agility puts that up to two. Uh, which is still nice. And we have Zap on the board. Pressure Blast, Chaos Torrent. Chaos Torrent is also very nice. Um, javelin Throw is available. So that, that's, now, that's now two ways to get into, into the melee, physically. Uh, dirty Stab, or Lethargy. The problem with then spending, but getting two people early is you kind of got to... You're ahead of the curve early. So I guess that means you could probably save money for items later. that may be a potential here. No, I think I think we go... The, the, basically, the question is, do we do we go with this uh, 8 physical damage, 8 HP, 10 crit, or do we just go uh, half the physical damage, but it's the same amount of HP? Yeah, 2 vitality. It's just you don't get the, uh, the resists. And you guys aren't 10 crit chance. Let's just see how, how, we're, how we're faring so far. I mean... It's not bad. 24 damage plus how much this does. We could definitely one-shot the person we're going to be going up against. Uh, and then we could even buff that further. And I do kind of like the, the HP. We don't really want to go too hard into crit because you do have the minus five. And we could, we, I, guess, I guess this does mitigate it a lot. Um, but I, I think we probably want to save some money here. So let's just get an extra item. Give you that extra little bit of health. You've got decent armor to start off with, and we've given you some extra armor anyway. Um, I think this is a sure win. Because she'll come close. We both have four range? Yeah, so we'll need to work out, like, I think we want her to go first, and then I think we just one shot. A very long intro. These videos take a little while to start to uh, get to the first fight because there's a lot to consider. Her going first is fantastic. Uh, actually, it's not because it doesn't put it in range. One, two, three. One, two, three. See, now, now this is the interesting. This is the interesting part. I think we step back, because that forces us to come forward, right into our range, and we can kill everyone. Plus one vitality is excellent news, 47 gold, and a weapon? Uh, I guess weapon's okay. Uh, they're all physical damage and stuff, so they're not all the best. Uh, we'll just probably go for Swade Sword just for the extra crit, just see if we can look at something. Uh, in the middle of the night, you're waking up a ghost. That's when uh, what do you want, Spectre? Uh, the ghost points to creek floor before disappearing. Running is what the ghost must have wanted. Give me for a bunch of gold. Hundred gold. That's actually extremely nice. And what do we have? We have Saha and Saladine or Salad Salad Salandine Salandine. Uh, 
Like, actually quite scary, straight away, to be honest. I mean, that's decent damage. Uh, short range, though. But it's still decent. One strength. Uh... Yeah, the, the, the range on these guys isn't that bad. But they both have three moves, which is, again, something to consider. What sale items we got? Um... Physical damage, HP, and crit chance. This is a very, very nice. Uh, again. Unless these two add up to 30, we wouldn't be able to afford that. And even if we could afford that, I don't think we would afford that. Especially with something like this is actually not too bad. For, for a lot cheaper. Um, you know, robe with agility. 10 agility on a ring is, is always nice. 7 agility dodge chance on a ring. Hyperspeed tackle with magic damage. It's a little odd. Um, I'm not sure I'd quite like that. Yeah. Max Exhaustion is pretty nice, but... Uh, <clears throat> Strange I would have figured... I, I guess that not being a... Uh, that taking up a turn makes sense. Um, for spirits... Torchlight, Courageous Strike, Wildland. I can't afford a super good... Like one of the ones down here. It's actually quite nice. It's also pretty good, but somehow not as good as the previous one. Uh, zero strength, wow. Can't, don't want you because we already have one of you. Let's see her. Guess you didn't like losing the uh, the previous fight, so you thought you'd, uh, thought you'd try your best. I mean, yeah, you, you, you're decent at the, the, the agility, but you don't really bring much to the table. We didn't buy Zap, but maybe we should have bought Zap. Uh, what about, I think you're, you're a good recruit, like, straight up. Yeah, you, you lose a bit of physical damage, but you got, you know, the, the, the Zealot Bolts are doing some stuff. Do you, you're the kind of person who you'd buy the, uh, the kind of spell sort of items on. I think you're just just too rich for my blood, unfortunately. I don't think there's anyone here that I would actually buy. Uh, so, so, so I guess the choices are go with someone cheap just to get a dude on the board, or actually do think about this. We would need thirty gold. Cannot afford it, unfortunately, even if we sell both of those. But we can look into other things. Obviously, you know, two vitality and five physical damage. Already, this is already better, but it also has an all chance and dodge chance. All nice things. Uh, what are we looking to upgrade here? I mean, they're both pretty good. Ten agility is always obviously it's better than four agility, but you know, well, there you go. Four agility, dodge chance. Mm. 24 HP, quick chance. Not losing the physical, though, that's the main thing there. See, even something like that's not terrible. 9 physical over 4. 3 magic and extra agility. I mean, the, the, the other option is actually we, we invest heavily into um, just pushing your agility up with money. And I guess the question is how much how much is that versus just doing it this way? Um, quite a difficult choice, this one. We definitely can't afford this as much as I'd love it. I think we go for this just because it's quite cheap, to be honest. And then maybe we don't do anything else. Keep these two just in the back pocket. Because uh, we, we, we have 29. We almost have as much damage as we were doing before. Um, you know, decent armor. So we're definitely one-shotting someone. Uh, how much would it be to actually increase your agility here? We're getting five from this. We need, this needs to go up to five. I mean, that was actually probably worth doing. Because we still have a decent amount of money in the back pocket. 
gives us the extra movement, which really allows us to, to work around these two. I mean, I'm not scared about getting too many with them. I have eight armor. Magic is a little bit more scary, but with 40 health, I think I should still kill you. Because once you've done these... Oh, I guess you can go back and forth between the two, right? Push back. Um, and I only have this. I don't think that kills you in one. It definitely kills you in one. Hang on, see her. It's here. And also in the, in the, in the bank. I assume it's just the name, so obviously... They just have to be the same. Very easy. That's not what we like to see. That makes things a little harder. Good dodge. That dodge was very important. Um, because that hurt. Uh, the, uh, the magic damage there. We did gain a vitality, which is nice, and we're also getting a person, which is also very nice. All have one armor. Two of you have, uh, or one of you has one strength. Magic arrow. Plus five magic damage for minus five magic defense. But the reason we buy people like you is for the agility. You don't actually have that much of it. You are a lot more kind of agile. So you're probably more likely. Um, I get, there, there are combos you can do with this kind of stuff, but I don't think they're actually that worth it. 25 HP is quite nice. You receive extra stat points. Um, Crosa Mist is okay. Obviously, the, you get the extra move. And I don't really use elves that much. I think just having just by virtue of having extra stat points, you're probably worth taking. Uh, Shovel Beggar, Long Scar, Ask for Gold. Keep on walking. We need the gold. I don't think we want to be doing anything fancy there. Four moves. Decent damage, but apart from that, not much else. And again, not much from you either. I think this is this is pretty much one deal. The question is, do we go magical or physical damage on you? I think we kind of do either. Let's check our shop. Breath of Frost, range three. The, the same Breath of Frost, but cheaper. Bull Rush. This is a nice enter the fray. Applies deadly. A reckless blitz. And in terms of items that we can afford, well, we should just kind of just look at them and see what we got. Physical damage, physical damage. Wisdom, vitality, agility, HP. Strength, crit, that kind of has good stuff. Let's go and quick chance. Tactical retreat. Interesting move. Uh, I don't think this is worth 101. Uh, as much as obviously the magic damage would be nice. Potentially Breath of Frost is a good is a good pickup here. Uh, the cheaper version, at least, just because then we can, you have something more you can do. So I think Breath of Frost is... Every, uh, it's cooldown zero, so it's actually probably better. Um, something to do. It's similar range, so you're definitely going to be hovering in that kind of three range. Uh, I guess something like this is probably not too bad. A little extra agility, which is fine, but it's dodge, dodge chance and HP. HP is always nice. Nothing here that's giving you uh, magic damage, though. It's going to be mostly tank stats. There's no reason not to give you this just for a bit of extra uh, vitality. Do we only have 12? Oh, wow, okay. Um, I think we buy Breath of Frost, and I think we buy.
Five vitality is 20, that's 24. You buff resistance. You get from vitality as well. Tricky decision. I think we buy this. I think this fight shouldn't be too bad either. Um, us going first, I'm not a huge fan of, but it's whatever. Shut up. Shut up, you. You do have some range on you. Four moves. Maybe we step forward two. I think that puts you out of range still. It does. I mean, there's no reason not to do this first. Pierce is 50%. I mean, they don't have any, so... Uh, no reason really not to, to be honest. Might as well. Might as well. Build. Might as well. Good dodge. Nice. Uh, I never used my skills. That's fine. Die. Vitality plus two. So I, I guess you get the same thing twice with this. Um, yeah. 70. Got a weapon here. It's all physical. Uh, brrr. So. This is obviously... Why would you pick this? It's basically, do you want crit or not, by chance? And I think we probably want... We actually want crit because it's going to be ranged. So let's, let's give crit here. Got the tournament level, very nice. We'll do the event. Uh, we do not want to kill any enemies. We'll give you this just because crit is probably better because we're doing more range stuff. And uh, we will end the video there. Thank you very much for watching. This is, I think, run far five. Yes, so. See how well we do. Um, moving forward. Grubber mouth. So far, it seems pretty good. But again, we may, we may fall off a bit. Thank you for watching. If you like this, please. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.